Okay, I'm going to walk through briefly just how to install Mainsail, and you're also going to need to download Balena Etcher um, to burn your image, and then you'll, you'll need to download the Mainsail image as well. After you download Mainsail and then you install Balena Etcher, you're simply going to um, insert your SD card, browse to the image, and flash the card. That's all there is to it. Uh, that was like all of five minutes maybe to get that image uh, downloaded and flashed, and then I had to basically go in and update the Wi-Fi supplicant file with my um, SSID. So I, I think everything's good. I'm going to try and power it up here and see what happens. Before you go in and configure your printer config, you're going to have to follow the directions. Um, you know, in my case, I'm going to be running Mainsail OS, but you still have to go into the Pi and do this initial Clipper firmware configuration, and it's under the Boron docs. So I've gone in and I've checked each option based on what is on the SKR3 mini guide here. And basically to go in there, you just, this last one you have to type in, you know, PA, exclamation point PA14. The other ones you just kind of go in, make sure you have the right thing selected that matches this, and then hit escape to get out of it. It's pretty easy. Okay, then I'm gonna hit Q to quit, hit yes to save, and then I need to type in make space clean and hit enter. And then I just wanna type make after that and hit enter. And then you should see it compiling. When it's done compiling, you should get a hex file called clipper.bin in the out directory and you're gonna to have to copy that over. Next up, you're gonna to need to copy that firmware bin file. Um, I'm gonna use winscp to do that. And if you're, you use the default, you should have mainsail OS for the host name, username, pi, password is whatever. Um, I think it's Raspberry. So then you can hit login. You're gonna get a little more warning message. Then basically it'll pop up over here. Here's your pi directory. And I think it's in clipper out. So now we're gonna go in here. We're gonna find the bin file. We're gonna click download and then just pick where you want to download it. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to pick my downloads folder and then you should have a copy. Okay, next up I just copied the clipper bin file to my desktop. Now it wants me to rename it to firmware.bin. The last part of this is you got to copy it onto an SD card and then insert it into the SKR, power off, well, and then power it up with it in there. Okay, after flashing clipper onto the SKR, Took me a few tries because I had the wrong format on my SD card. You have to have X, EX, or you have to have FAT32, and I was using EXT FAT. So anyway, once I ran that LS command, I got the correct um, serial number, and now I've got that pasted into my printer.cfg file. Okay, so I'm, I just logged in with Putty, and then I'm going to run this rm printer.cfg command. Okay, so now if I go in here and refresh, it's probably not there anymore. Yep. So I don't know why they don't give you an option to delete, unless it's one of these and I'm just not sure. Yeah. So now I'm gonna go ahead and upload it again. Okay, yeah, I found it on my desktop. So it went pretty quick, and now I'm gonna hit restart. Oh, there we go, look at that. So now it's actually showing machine limits and things. Okay, I clicked on dashboard and I, I'm at least seeing a couple good things here. It looks like my Thermistors are working. Um, now's when the fun begins. So I'm gonna start trying to test it and see if everything's gonna home and do that all properly. As you can see, everything is up and running. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and home it. I'm doing a little bit of a awkward camera movement here. I'm running it from my PC. You can also run Clipper from your phone, which is pretty cool, or mainsail, I guess it is. So there we go, it's homing. You don't really hear much. It's a very quiet printer. So it did take me a bit to get everything homing. Um, then I had some issues with the heated bed and the, and actually the hot end. Um, I had some, I think I had some wires just in the wrong place and uh, long story, but anyway, going through the Discord, rechecking all my wiring, uh, I ended up getting everything working. So at this point, all I have really left to do is um, I need to heat tighten the nozzle. I also need to prepare the small little PEI sheet and, and uh, bed. And after that, uh, I probably need to add a spool holder at some point and, you know, I need to finish the top hat. So there are 
maybe a few little odds and ends, but overall functionality wise, the printer's pretty much good to go and uh, about ready to print. And if you're wondering, here's what mainsail looks like. So it's pretty nice. It reminds me a lot of maybe a mix between rep rep firmware and um, like the duet Wi-Fi stuff and a little bit of uh, Octoprint. So looks pretty straightforward. Um, it's got a console, it's got a dashboard settings for the printer. You can actually go in and edit your printer config file, just like you can edit, oops, that's the Moonraker one. But um, you can edit this live, you can save and close, save and restart. So you don't have to recompile, uh, just again, just like do it Wi-Fi firmware.